In the past few lessons, we have just been dealing with text views and edit text and buttons as well. Sometimes you might want to have images on your application. In fact, a lot of apps have some form of image, be it a big image or even an icon. So image view, it's something you will most likely use in your journey in Android development. If you go to the palette, you will see the common, if you go to the palette, you will see the commonly used UI elements. To expand it, of course, you can always click for more details. But in the common, you can see image view. Now for us to set the image of the image view, let us create some vector images. You can always display your custom image in your image view. The normal images you have on your system. Images are usually found in the drawable folder. But to create one, I would right click, go to new, and I'll click vector assets, not image assets. Now Android Studio comes with a set of clip arts which you can always import into your project. If you don't want to use the clip art and you want to use your own local vector image, you can always reference it by selecting the part and then clicking next. For now, so that you don't need to get your own custom image, let us just use the image found on Android Studio. I'll click on this Android icon to change it. I'll click on social. Let's click on sentiment satisfied. And I'll click OK. Now this is going to be the name of the icon. This is the color. It's currently black. If you want to change it to another color, you can always change it. For now, let us leave it as black. And we say next, it will be found in the drawable with this name. And I can say finish. Let me drag and drop an image view here. Normally, when you drag and drop an image view, they would ask you to select an image you want to be displayed by default in that image view. I can click on sentiments, which we just created right now. Let's run this. And there you have it. You have your image view showing the smiley face. But what if you wanted a larger image here? Something bigger than this. Remember that the image we created was 24 dp in width and height. You can always edit that size. So let's say I want to override the default size. So I'll make it four times its size. I'll make it 96 dp. Might as well change the name so that it reflects what I created. Next and finish. Now I have 24 and 96. So how do I change the resource of this image? I'll go to text. Now, if you look at image view, you'll notice that there's a resource statement here. Click on preview to preview the UI. You can always close this left tab here. And I can come here to suggest the 96 version. And I click on it. You can see the image is now larger. And there you have it, a smiley face. You can as well place other images if you wish. 
Print images you download online. Once they are drawable and you reference them, they will be displayed on your image view. So I added a Cerberry PNG to the drawable folder. Now you can do this by opening your file explorer, dragging and dropping a file here, or you go to your drawable folder in your project location and paste it. How do you find your project location? If you look up, you would see the path to this current project. From there you can find your resource, drawable, and you can paste the image there. So let's go and change this image to Cerberry. I come over here, I write the name of the resource, Cyberry. Oops, <laughs> Cyberry. So here you have it. Now, the image expanded because I chose wrap content. So the actual image is a big image. So that is why in trying to wrap it, it expanded more than the actual room I have on my application. So if you want to restrict it to be at a certain specific size, unlike our sentiment satisfied, which we specified the size when we were creating it, sometimes you don't have control over the size of the image unless you want to edit it. So I can easily come and uh, edit this image view. If you look at the layout width and height dp, you will notice that as I was editing it, it was changing. So it remained this fixed size. So let's try to run it. Oops, we got an error. So let's read what the error is. In Android Studio, most times when you have an error, just calm down and look at what the error states. So if we scroll up, you would see what went wrong. So you see error C is not a valid file based resource name. File based resource names must contain only lowercase. So looking at our image, we found out that the C in the library is actually a capital letter. And when you're having a drawable resource, make sure everything is in lowercase. So how do I change that? I can easily right click, go to refactor, click on rename. Now click C. Now say refactor. So let's run it again. That is all right and good. We can also change we can also change we can also change the image of the image view from code so let me give you an example so i have this layout i have an image and i have a button happy neutral sad Depending on which button is clicked, it should show an image. As a tip, you may be wondering what's the difference between this design and this design that looks like a blueprint. So just like I said, this is the blueprint of this. Sometimes when you start designing, you might not clearly see the connections between your UI elements or you might not even notice the layout properly. Sometimes you might make some views invisible. And if you make them invisible, you can't really see them in this view because this practically shows you how it will appear in the actual app. So if something is invisible, you're not supposed to see it here. But the layout will show everything that exists in that layout. It shows you the connection easily and it helps you have a better view of what is going on. Of course, if you decide you don't need this, if you come over here, you see blueprint and design. You will see only blueprint and you will see design. If I click on design, 
I only deal with the design. You can as well select this. Doesn't really matter. When you select blueprint and the design, let us get the artwork that will be displayed, the images. So we have sentiment satisfied. Next, we need to get something to represent neutral. We click on this, go to social, hmm, sentiment neutral. Yeah, I think that would do. We'll make this 96 as well. Have sentiment neutral. Over here, go to new vector assets. I selected sentiment neutral by coming here and clicking OK. So I want to change the size and as well the name. If I don't change the name, not really, it doesn't affect me. But well, then the name should reflect the size because sometimes you might have the same name but the difference is the size. So you want the name to actually represent the size. So because this is 96 dp version, I'm changing the default 24 to 96. Alright. So like other things we have dealt with. This has to have an ID. Currently, the ID is image view. We can leave it like that. I need to really change the ID of the button. So I'll say btn happy. So let's go to our main activity. I reference this. If I click button happy. So now I have an unclick listener. On the button happy let's set an ugly listener on the neutral so now what happens when happy is clicked I would say my image view dot set image resource we'll say r our resource dot drawable because it's located in the drawable dot Sentiment satisfied, 96. That's all. Now, if it's neutral, we can easily copy this. Instead of satisfied, look for neutral. It's sad, copy this, cut this out. Look for sad. And that's all, that's all you need run this program now if i click happy it's happy if i click neutral not so happy but you no know, we can manage it if i click sad but this guy he ain't so happy right now but i know you are happy you're a happy bunch <laughs> so that is image view so that's it for image view. I hope you enjoyed this. In the next lesson, we would learn about checkboxes.